Hi everybody, Kevin here. I'm glad you all liked the last video with the drawing and everything, so I'll try to draw more on the wood when I do some carvings. Uh, but looking around the shop and I found this little piece, uh, probably from a, looks like we cut it off and made a wood spirit out of it probably. But uh, it's kind of, it kind of interesting to me. I don't know how good it's going to carve. It doesn't look like it's in the best shape, but never like to waste any good looking piece of wood, right? So what I did was I drew, uh, I think it'd look really cool, this piece, if I just did a mouth, but a scary monster type mouth in it. You know, I'm going to start doing some different cool things. And I think I can get a little mouth in there with the Dremel. So uh, we're going to give it a shot. You see the teeth I drew on there? So I'm going to see if I could take that out. Let me darken them in here. Does this marker work? I'm just going to draw some funky teeth on it, so you guys can see. And then around here will be the outside of his mouth, and then we'll see what else we can do if it carves. You never know. <laughs> All right. So I think that I'm going to make that a nice little fun afternoon project here. So, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to get myself a little bit. I don't think I could start with the big ball right away. So, I'm probably going to have to put a little bit in before I start. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get some of these teeth to come out here. I got the little ball in the Dremel. A little tiny one. And uh, let's see how it works on this. If not, I'll just switch bits. All right, so I got them kind of etched in there, all right? Uh, you know me, if, even if it's not cutting a lot, I like to etch it in a little bit and not lose my design first before I start going too much deeper, okay? Now, a lot of times, if you want to keep your design, I like to etch and it kind of starts my carving, but uh, if I'm using basswood, what I'll do is I'll go over my design with a wood burner first, and then it's the lines stay on a lot longer if you're going to carve something, okay? <laughs> so, now it's time to come up with a bottom part of that mouth and uh, see what we're going to do there as far as drawing goes. Now what I need is my pencil here. All right, now uh, I'll just darken these in a little bit too so I know where they're going to be. I'm going to have to make that tooth a little sharper because he's just not gnarly enough for me on this side. All right. Now in the middle here, we're going to give him that little dangly thing that's in the back of your throat. You know, uh, your uvula, I guess they call it, right? So that right there will be there. And I guess... Uh, both sides of that will come down we want that to I'm gonna paint him when we're done because I want it just to have the mouth in the middle of the stick I think would be really neat looking I might have to make that uvula smaller hold on because I'm gonna need room for his tongue right so I don't like that already okay let's do his tongue first I guess the tongue would have to be about here. And then we're gonna need some teeth on the bottom. So I'm just gonna draw a couple of those. One fang here. And then we'll do the same with the bottom teeth. A couple of those, we're gonna need another fang here. I'd have to dig out over here a little more. And we'll see if we have room for the uvula later. 
So I gotta take that out. I know it might be hard for you to see there in the camera. We're gonna give it a shot, see if we can etch that. All right, we're gonna try the tongue first. That's a perfect example of losing my design <laughs> when you start carving. So the one tooth is here, so you guys can see. Okay. Then there's another one here, one here, one here, and then there's going to be another fang right here. Okay. Whoops. I mean to hit the camera. Sorry. Okay. Now this right here is going to be the tongue, actually. Actually, I should have it come down this way. On this side, yeah. That's all tongue there. In the middle. All this will come out so that I can get those to stand out. And then on the side, probably on the side of this right here is the top fang. So on the side of that fang, I would take the mouth down to here. And this is the other fang. And I would take that down on this side. Whoops, it's not drawing. Yeah, I switched my bit a little bit to a little bit more aggressive cutter, but it's smaller even. But uh, let me see if I can actually get some undercuts and stuff going to get the, the shape a little more indented in the wood of the teeth. Okay, here we go. Let's try it out. Okay, you can't see that tooth real good, but I can see him enough, this guy right here. I'm going to have to take this down if I want it to mean anything, so I'm going to stop cut across the tongue. stop cut so the tongue is raised and for that we may have to switch our bits to a little ball bit hold on okay I'm gonna use the Dremel with the little ball bit in uh, this one I don't have hooked up to my foot pedal so I'm gonna have to reach across and try and turn it on we're gonna try and take this high spot out here and leave the tongue sticking up and go around and get these teeth to stand out a little more so hold on a sec Notice how I keep drawing the design back on so I don't lose anything. I want to make sure I know where all my teeth are as I keep taking this thing down.
uh, what's going to make this pop is when we get colors and we paint the tongue and we paint some black in there and we separate everything. That's when you're really going to see the design. I know it's hard for you guys to see. So it's kind of just like a little fun thing for me to do. And I figured I'd make a video while I was doing it. <clears throat> so if anything, and uh, it doesn't work out well for teaching, then I'll just put it on as a time lapse and you can enjoy watching it be made. All right. This so right here, I got to shape a little bit more of the uvula and then try to go around the mouth on the outside. Okay, I'm starting to see that. Starting to look a little bit better. I can't wait to put color on this and watch it pop. I'm going to figure out what uh, wrinkles and stuff. What else I want to do to this as I shape the teeth. All right, let me shrink this down a little. What I'm gonna be doing is uh, trying to get these teeth to go under, so I'm gonna have to use my knife for this. And I gotta get them underneath that lip line there, the gum line, <laughs> lip line, you know what I mean. So I'm making a stop cut and then I'm popping those in. And then we can clean up and like I said, basically you'll be able to see this the best when I paint it. Because this isn't the cleanest piece of wood. Alright. And we're going to make sure that we have some good clean lines on those teeth. I'm going to go around with my knife and clean those up and make them stick out. matter going around and looking for what I have to get this to dig out whatever tools I gotta use like my knife or other bits I just thought it'd be a neat little I saw this little piece of wood and I thought it'd be cool to have just a scary mouth on it basically so whether I could pull it off or not, that's a different story. But we are going to see. You'd be surprised what a little bit of paint will do. Alright, so I'm going to go around and I'm going to clean these cracks out of the teeth like that. With my knife. Dig it all out and uh, I'll be back. Alright, I cleaned them up a little bit with my knife, and what I'm going to do is really set those teeth in and define them so when I paint, I'll be able to tell exactly what I want and where I'm going with this. So I'm going to get the wood burner out here, and I'm just going to go over those teeth and set them in pretty good. Plus, you guys will be able to see them a lot easier. This is a hard piece of wood. I don't know what it is. But, uh, 
I think it'll look kind of neat when I, when I get it done. It'll be different. Something to do on a Friday afternoon. And it'll give you guys some ideas, even though if it's not the best teaching video. It'll give you some ideas, hopefully, and maybe you'll get creative because of it. You never know who you inspire. I'm going to run that across the tongue there. That is the tongue. Just so when I paint, I know where I'm going with everything here. You know, this piece is going to be hard to see. Hold on, sorry, I keep moving it out of the camera. I've got to push with this so I can set those in. And then the inside of the mouth here will come down. Also show me where I need to clean up. There. I'm gonna go around the outside. See out of that camera again, sorry. I said a little bit of paint will do you if you'd be surprised how much different he'll look when he's painted and the different things we can do I'm not the best painter but you know try and give him to look like something like a mouth <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can make him look like something. Put some paint. And I think first I'm gonna do all the teeth white. See how that makes them stand out. My hat keeps hitting the camera. <laughs> that wood burner will help keep the separations between the teeth too, because now that line's wood burned and cut with my knife. teeth a little pointier later on and for now we're just getting some color in there separate them from the rest of the mouth so we can see what's going on so you guys can see what's going on boy we turned the clocks back last week and now it's getting dark already Only a little after four, I think. I think it gets dark at five now. And then in another couple of weeks, it'll be dark at four. I hate these long winter nights. I only have so much time during the day to do anything. So I'm going to be spending a lot of nights in the shop, bored, doing stuff like this. So make sure you check out the channel. You never know what I'll be messing with.
also I'm going to try and do a giveaway tomorrow. And uh, if you show up during the live chat at 6 p.m., we're going to give away the cottonwood piece. So hope to see you then. If you're around, definitely stop in, check it out. And you'll have a chance to pick a number. If you pick that number, you could win the win the piece. Okay, now the, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. I'm going to do the tongue and the uvula and put a little bit of red inside the mouth. And then we're going to do black. All right, so we're going to do colors first. Once this dries, we'll be back and we'll put the red in. All right, well, that's dry. I'm going to put a little bit of red on and uh, make that stand out a little better. Because we got to get the inside of that mouth looking pretty good, right? He stands out a lot better already. Doesn't he? <laughs> Probably going to have some black around there, so. Less is more. We got to do the tongue. And the uvula here, of course, is going to be red. Or the uvula, or whatever it is they call that dangly thing in the back of your throat. That's the dangly thing. Now you'll see where I'm going with this once I add the black. Alright, that should be enough red. <clears throat> Let that dry for a minute. And we'll add the black. Is it starting to look kind of toothy to you now? <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to come out looking kind of neat. Okay. We'll get ready for the black. Alright. Let's see. Get the black in there. Put some black going around here. Of course, we're going to need black separating here where the tongue is. Here. Almost dipped in the wrong one. I'm gonna move that red, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna dip in that red. Let me 
I should put my visor on because I really can't see. I think I'm going to go right down the edge here and get around that tooth. See how that works. I can always put more red in if I have to. Side of the mouth there. Same here. And I think I'm going to put some above all this up here. on the bottom also. This is the fun stuff to make, you know. Let your imagination go wild and just have some fun. Sometimes you can do a lot more with some paint and a carving and a little piece of wood from your yard <laughs> than you think. And the more you play with it, if you're a painter, you could probably make this look really good. I'm not really a painter. I'm just playing. And stop me from trying, though. That's the whole thing. Didn't look like it was going to be much when I started. You probably didn't even see half of the video. I know it's hard to see. But it is what it is. I think I need a little more black on top. Bring it all the way down. Somebody. Let's see over here. Probably need some going across the bottom of them teeth, I guess. Maybe around. I don't know if I want to carve that in or not. Or uh, paint that in. Maybe just here. And I can always clean it up with the white. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of shadow and then you can go right back over it with the original color, as in the white here, you know. Here we go, we got a little bit of a loss in the camera there. I don't know what happened, but it seems to shut off on me. So I'm just going around with the black, 
and then I will put some uh, white back on where I need it, some red back on where I need it, and then I'll show you the end result. But that right there's gonna be our little toothy wood spirit. <laughs> Literally, it's a toothy little carving. So I'm gonna clean them up and uh, see what we get. Okay, there he is. He's a pretty cool little guy. And he's just sitting there. A little piece of wood that was out in the yard. And uh, I just thought it'd be cool to put a little carving on him. You know, maybe I could hollow this out here and do something with that. I'd probably just go to one of my kids. Uh, figure out something to do. Yeah. hole in the table here where I had a hose before. Okay, so that's going to be my project for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try. Find a piece of wood that looks kind of cool. And uh, make something on it. Yeah. All that is is just a cutoff, see? The bottom's just not the best. But uh, you never know what you can make out of it. <laughs> from this angle. Ah! <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.